But Gordon and I were obviously looking forward to our first baby. And then when Jennifer was born early and didn't survive, she died after only 10 days. It changed everything for us. It was the most a painful moment. I was really touched and overwhelmed that so many people wrote to us or reached out to contact us. And it was 13,000 letters arrived. What struck me was how many particularly women were writing to say that they'd had a similar loss, that they'd lost a baby. In here were stories from women sharing their experiences. Out of nowhere, I went into preterm labor. The most overriding fear was that he wasn't going to make it. I remember putting my hand through the incubator and feeling afraid that I was going to hurt him. It's beyond anything you could possibly calculate. I said that survival odds were 60 40. I had to close myself off. That's how I, I coped, and, and a day at a time. And for a long time, when Lily was first here, it was hour by hour. The combination of our deep personal loss with understanding how many other families this had happened to really started a search for some of the answers. Surely we can start to change things, to look at what science could offer, what was happening right on the medical frontiers. And that's really the beginning of the Jennifer Brown Research Laboratory. Back in 2004, many of the problems in pregnancy were under-researched or ignored. And it was quite exciting being part of the first team of researchers in the lab. We were all women, asking questions that hadn't been asked before, bringing our clinical experience, but working with scientists together, focusing down on these key questions about preventing pregnancy complications, finding new treatments and new ways to better care for women to prevent preterm birth. It's a very exciting form of medicine because there's so much invested in it. Society, parents, doctors, nurses all want the best for a newborn baby. And so to be part of that difficult start is really a great honor. We know that some children who are born premature at the moment don't fulfill their full life potential because of the difficulties around the time of birth and the effect that that has on their brain development. There was a coming together in Edinburgh of obstetrics, neonatology, imaging science, inflammation biology. And so the origins of the lab could bring all those things together to answer a new set of questions. The Their World Edinburgh Birth Cohort allows the study team to look at 400 premature babies as they start life, looking at them as they grow right through school and into adulthood. We recruit the mums around the time of birth. We get lots of information from them about their pregnancy and brain imaging from the infants. Using really advanced imaging science to understand in more detail than ever before how premature birth can affect the developing brain connections. And our hope for the future is that we'll be able to continue to follow the children, target our developing treatments and find the best way to support them and that they can fulfill their life potentials. Every day that she is doing well, we feel lucky and we yeah. would want whatever they can learn from her to be available for, for others. For other families. Every year the birth cohort sends us a birthday card for the girls, for each of them. We're just so proud of being in the study, like absolutely love telling everybody about it. I know that premature birth can affect you right into adulthood. So much more for us, it's about the other families that are going to benefit from this in the long run. And with every day and every week and month and year that comes, the, that, that developmental knowledge and support is brilliant. I mean, it's absolutely thrilling. We're right at the forefront of where medical science is going to take us next. The fact that we've got an investment into a longitudinal study that will carry information going forward for years combines with the technology, fields of genetics, of neuroscience. All of that is there in the laboratory and really, really looking at the future frontiers of where medical research and science is going and really allowing us to invest back in our babies, which is what it's all about, to make sure that they have that best start in life.